they do and they practically get it for a faster time. Just imagine what they could do in this game. Not that I... I can possibly speedrun heroes with the way that I'm playing right now. And, okay, we can go ahead, let's go ahead and take the upper route again. Or get hit by the lower route enemies again. Grab this pass, grind the rail, pop up. I guess the fact that I take risk is because I'm a... AGAIN?! Alright, screw it. We're gonna take the normal path. Or I'll try one more time, and if I screw up right there and then, then I will take the... Then I will take the normal path. Cause ideally, you don't have to die. This is essentially the... It's there if you wanna do it. Now if we were playing a Fire Emblem game then... Oh man, I... You practically live that... You practically take risks a lot in that game in some situations. Oh, Path of Radiance, why are you such a jerk? Chapter 16 is such a jerk in Path of Radiance. No matter how many times I go through that level, there... I almost always have to take a risk of some sort. But you know what? I like it. The funny thing about this is... I am not even at the halfway point. Alright, let's try this one more time before I decide to actually take the main path that the game wants me to take. And look at it this way, you could be finding some enemies and learn something new about heroes. It's okay to take a risk. Alright, let's do this part proper. Or... Nah, we're doing it proper. Okay, we're gonna get on the... get on the rail. That works too. Eh, Omega has a field day. And whoa, don't know what happened there, but I will gladly take it. Oh, barely missed that. Alright, E-10,000, prepare to eat Chaos Inferno. Not for very long ago because I actually need to get a move on. What time is it? Oh man, we are... We've been streaming for 2 hours and 48 minutes, so... Team Dark goes through a, a lot longer than most teams. But the best part about all this is that this is as long as it gets. Especially if you're trying to do this in one setting. Maybe that's kind of why I didn't mind playing heroes so much. I was always playing as a different team every single time, so... I never exactly sat down and did everything in one go. Jump off here, and carry on with the rap. Shadow gets a lot more use out of... Out of everyone here. These cannons can be destroyed by either Rouge or Shadow if you don't need necessarily need Omega, but the option is there if you want it. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Silhouette. I know I can do it. And I plan on doing this before midnight. I really hope I can do this by midnight. Thirteen. 
actually, when we get to Egg Emperor, we have a slightly easier time. Not as easy as Team Sonic does. Of course, I'm probably super biased because I play that team almost every time I play Sonic Heroes. But if you've been following along with what I've been saying about their Team Blast, you kind of already know what to expect. Jump right here, skip most of that level. Light speed trail? Not a problem. We're getting there. We're getting there, we can make it. We got chaos control right there, we're like... Almost five minutes in and we're still not nowhere near the end, but I still say we're making some good time. Alright, let's actually get that sweet spot. Or am I supposed to be here? Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Alright, time to take the sides. Or I can die! Never mind. Oh wow, that far back? Oh, time for take two. Yeah, I figured I couldn't make that one go. Okay, work with me, camera. Oh man, getting a little shaky right now. Let's go ahead and check things out. Okay, well, because I know I'm gonna hit target that robot, let's get rid of it before we climb up that pole. Hello, E10,000. I'm not sure if this is a character or a team exclusive thing, but Omega's fire dunk attack really hurts as opposed to everyone. It's almost like my go-to method with Omega when I'm not when I'm not comfortable for just plowing on through with the ground dash attack. But anyway, we are almost back at where we were, so. I'd say we're doing fairly decent time. Now all I have to do is just take out a Robo here. Cans are being jerks. My usual way of dealing with the E-10,000 is basically wait for it to do an attack and go from there. So you're more about baiting and punishing rather than... Rather than just mounting a full offense, or you're otherwise you're dealing with that shield way more than you should. Right up that current. You can skip most of these enemies if you're careful. Hit up that robot. Or that cannon, I should say. What's this way yield? I am curious. I am going to die because I'm curious. Okay, good, I did not die. Alright, almost there. Alright, that rail. Hit up level 2 shadow. And we are just barely going to approach the next battleship. Voice a little shot, but we will keep going for the sake of the stream. Move down. Affirmative. Watch out for those robots. Actually, because of the fact that you need to kill 100 enemies, you can really go out of your way to kill most of the enemies that you see. Especially if you hit this flight of propeller and fly formation. Let me just look at it and... Okay, I am so glad I told you guys that you can get hit by those cannons, because I could have been stage spike if I did. If I screwed up somehow. Keep going and get hit by the cannon. 
almost get hit by another cannon. Power formations auto lock on feature kind of hurting me pretty bad right about now. One thing I, this is definitely a case of where running into the. Yeah, if I can form my words real quick. This is a case where the level design really s repeats itself. Because we did not go through this for a while. Alright. Let's call in our strategy. Wait for this guy to attack. Dodge those cannons. Fire your laser while I fire mine. And. Eh, why not? We have chaos control. Let's go ahead and use it. Call it in. Let's beat that level. Victory! After somehow getting it through despite several marks and bruises. Just average. Maybe I really should consider not being so risky silhouette. All right, final fortress. The last stage for Team Dark and for pretty much every other team. I should have been in speed formation. Oh no, I can be perfectly fine. Here we have a couple of Eggles, but because we have a sliding dash, these guys are no problem to us. Just smash that B button. Damn it! And completely missed the whole point while we were up there. Oh, that actually doesn't fall off. I'm probably really late on this, but again, I really like Shadow's tone and personality in this game as opposed to the whole rough and renegade anti-hero personality. Well, not to say that Shadow is an anti-hero in the Sonic universe, but... But more so, like... He's more than just... He's more than just a Sonic opposite, is what I'm probably getting. And this game... And Omega... Well, actually, no, Battle... Really gets that point across with Shadow's character. <laughs> well, good to see that you're happy, so... Good to see that you're happy, so what? Nope, that... We have level 3 shadows, so climbing through pools, which is going to be a staple of this... Of this stage, more so than anything. But before we move on, let's go ahead and grab that key. I will be trying my luck again to see if I can get that 7th Chaos Emerald. I screwed it up with Team Sonic, I screwed it up with Team Rose. Let's see if I can somehow cut my losses and get at least one with Team Dark. And so far I'm actually doing a pretty decent job. Alright. Oh thank goodness I have level 3 Tornado. Yeah, we are killing it. I am doing great in this level. Awesome, man. Totally worth it. Really wish I had Team Blast right about now. But I guess we're now just focus on the shield next. No, not on that one, Ed. Ah. As soon as I say we're gonna try to redeem ourselves. No, this is Sonic Heroes. You don't redeem yourself. You let this game build anger with you. Mind you that you could be playing a different game that doesn't... that many consider more fair. Wow, I'm actually making those shots. Sweet. You can just literally stand here and camp. Booyah. What's in here? Fat load of nothing. 
Annihilation. Annihilation.